This is our first time ever reloading 10 mils. What's happening, everybody? There it is, y'all. Y'all see it. We got the 180 grain hollow point from Extreme. Got a couple of primers here. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. But the difference about today and all the other times is we're actually going to be reloading 10 mils today. We will be running that long shot. Shotgun powder. And uh, we're going to be doing something else that's different today. Instead of uh, using large pistol primers, we just put that to the side. We're going we're going to go ahead and run some small pistol primers. Okay, these are as what you see Federal Number One Hundreds. I'm going to go ahead and load this up into our tray. And the reason why we're using small pistol primers is obvious the brass that we have also have small primer pockets Wanna keep wanting to run off, yo. I'm gonna start off with that one. Let's go to the press and load this up. Yeah, let's drop these primers just like that. All right, y'all. So we got the primers in there. Let's go ahead and open up the box of Freedom. Freedom seed, that is. Yep. I don't know why I always forget. About the sides, I always do it. But I hope everybody's doing all right out there, y'all. Look at those pretty, pretty 180s, y'all. It's a nice, pretty, big, shiny thing. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up off camera. And we'll be back. All right, everybody. So we got our tubes ready to go. And I just wanted to uh, show some of y'all the difference between the 165 grain hollow point and the 180 grain. They are very, very different. 
and height as you see it. Alright. Those things are pretty, y'all. Shiny. Pretty. Y'all need to like it. Anyway, yeah. Let's get to reloading, y'all. Let's get to reloading. All right, everybody, let's start reloading this 10 millimeter with a small primer, as you see right there, with this long shot. This is the first stroke, y'all. Y'all know how I like to do it. I like to check it. All my primers, they are Looking good. For those that's wondering, why am I using small primers? Again, it's because the primer pockets on my brass require small primers. Okay. For those that don't know, that's still new to reloading, I'm using Federal Brass and they have small primer pockets, okay? I'm going to check this one right quick and make sure the powder charge is where we want it. That first one seems to be all right, y'all. Let's keep on trucking. I'm gonna go ahead and double check this one. This is the second one. All right, that second one also seems to be looking well with the powder charge. And no, I'm not going to Share our powder charge for you know for safety reasons. But there's our first cartridge job. Check the cartridge overall length. It's looking all right. The cartridge overall length. Seems to be all right, yo. Seems to be all right. Let's keep on trucking. And back to what I was saying about not sharing our powder charge. It's not to piss nobody off. It's just for safety reasons. I highly advise everyone that's watching, paying attention, go copy y'all a uh, reloading manual. Any one of them is way, way better than not having none at all. Now, from time to time, might share some of our powder charges, but as of now, we're not. Maybe if we start a Patreon or something, we could do something over there. I'm going to continue to check my powder charges. To make sure again they are falling where I want them to fall. It's very important. I just rather be safe. And 
for those that don't believe, these are 10 meals with small primers. There it is, y'all. You see it. Let me check this powder charge. Yeah, the powder charge seems to be looking real good and consistent. Also, this long shot seems to be coming out pretty good. we have that requires a large primer as you see right here and that is a sieve y'all no big deal we'll just put that to the side Alright, let's rock it, rock and roll, man. There it is, y'all. Yeah. It's in there. This is our first time, by the way. Reloading pin meals. I'm going to continuously check my powder charge. I'm checking for consistency. We have another large primer pocket that we can't use on this reload. We do have spare brass. All right, everybody. We're over here with Big Boy checking out what he's doing. What you doing, Big Boy? Got this 10 millimeter cartridge gauge, checking the primer pockets and primers, checking if they're seated. I'm checking if these are safe to load into our chamber. What's the gauge for? It's for the cartridges to check if they are safe to load into your actual chamber. And it'll let you know the goodies and the baddies. So do you, did you find anything good in any, any one of them bad yet? Yes, I have found three that are bad. Can you give us an example, show us 
So how you know if they're bad? Here is a bad one. And as you can see, if you put it in the chamber or the gauge, 10 millimeter cartridge gauge, you'll see that it'll stop. Okay, do that again. As you can see, keep going. And it'll stop just about close to the top. So the head space is not it's not it's not good, huh? You have like a bulge, right? Mm-hmm. And these ones are not safe to load. You mean to you? Mm -hmm. And these are they're flush and they go in directly. safety issue. We want to make sure every round is safe just, just as every round should be accurate. Everybody. Looks like we're almost to the end of the road here. Everything seems to be looking all right. Big boy did find several cartridges that we need to re-examine or redo. It's no big deal at all for that, man. We rather catch it during the process rather than getting caught up or having some something go wrong or accident out in the field you know what I mean them out let's see what's up with it all right everybody we finally finished all of the 10 millimeter cartridges that's what they looking like y'all that's what they looking like these are small primers I believe they're all yep I believe they're all the brass is by federal The extreme looks nice on them, y'all. It really does. At least to me, it does. And this is our first time ever reloading 10 mils with that long shot on top of that. That Hodgson long shot. Y'all saw it here. Know what I mean? Small primer pockets, y'all. Small primers. 10 mils with small primers. It was all right, y'all. It was all right. And for those that's wondering what's the powder charge, again, this is our first time reloading 10 mils and using long shot. 
Due to safety reasons, we do not want to share our powder charges. Alright. But we sure will let y'all know. Well, y'all gonna see it when we take them out to the range and see how these things perform. You know what I mean? Our PTX powder drop did perform pretty well too. Whenever y'all are using the auto progressive press, just make sure your expander is properly set so you won't have any issues. We blew through these real fast, y'all, for it to be our first time doing them. We just really, really, we hope we, we hope they shoot good too. <laughs> Yep, but that's it, y'all. And we did check all the cartridges to make sure the headspace on them is right. With all that being said, y'all, remember, you, you can, can fix it too. Yeah, they look good, y'all. They look nice. Nice, y'all. See y'all at the range.